Hey all, today we are going to discuss about Ludwig's angina. It was named after German physician Wilhelm Friedrich von Ludwig. It is basically a type of cellulitis in which all the submandibular spaces are involved, right? So it is basically acute, potentially life-threatening, toxic cellulitis in which all the submandibular spaces are involved, such as sublingual space, submandibular space and submandibular space. So these are basically submandibular spaces. Submandibular space, sublingual and the submental spaces. So uh, we, we will call a cellulitis as Ludwig's angina only when all the three submandibular spaces are involved. The submandibular, the sublingual and the submental. The disease is basically of dental origin right so all the infections that lead to um, Ludwig's angina are originated due to dental causes or disease of dental origin the chief source is periapical or periodontal involvement of mandibular molars so mandibular molars are the main cause of this infection. Submandibular gland sialadenitis, the inflammation of submandibular gland may also cause Ludwig angina. Oral soft tissue lacerations, a wound, may also cause uh, Ludwig's angina. Intraoral or perioral piercing, penetrating injury of the floor of the mouth, such as in gunshot wounds or in osteomyelitis osteomyelitis right so most common source of infection are mandibular second and third molars so molars are the source of infection because the infection perforates the bone to establish drainage and that drainage that infection seeks the path of least resistance what happens in mandible the outer cortical bone is basically very thick bone is very thick basically and the inner one is basically the perforated one inner that is the lingual wall is perforated so the infection will spread inwards that is towards the lingual wall because it is basically very thin and it is perforated right that's why the infection will seek the path of least resistance towards the inner side right so basically if the apices are situated, apices of the mandibular molars, if uh, these are situated below mylohyoid ridge, it will cause infection in some mandibular space. And the apices are situated below mylohyoid ridge in around 65% of the teeth. That's why it is most common for the infection to spread in some mandibular space. Now, if the apices are located, as we know that if it is located below the mylohyoid ridge, apices are located below mylohyoid ridge, so some mandibular space infection will occur. But what if the apices are located above mylohyoid ridge, then some lingual space infection will occur, right? Now, the clinical features of um, Ludwig's angina. As we know that Ludwig's angina is an acute infection, acute infection, so it will be rapidly developing. There will be board-like swelling of the floor of the mouth, due to which elevation of the tongue will be seen. The swelling is basically very firm, painful and diffuse. Difficulty in eating and swallowing is obvious as well as in breathing. High fever as it is an, an acute infection, it will cause high fever, rapid pulse, fast respiration, moderate leukocytosis, right? 
so as we know that in ludwig's in china the swelling is diffuse one diffuse so it will not only uh, involve the submandibular spaces it may also involve the neck it may also cause edema of the glottis right so there is a serious risk of death by suffocation by choking because of this swelling right infection may spread to the parapharyngeal spaces to the carotid sheath or to the pterygo palatine fossa cavernous sinus thrombosis may occur after uh, this um, ludwig's angina if it keep it if it keeps on spreading right or subsequent meningitis may also occur so it is a dangerous or toxic cellulitis basically now the lab findings microorganisms such as streptococci staphylococci diphtheroids prevotella are seen so basically meningogenicus oralis or corundens these are the types of prevotella or species that are seen in lab findings the disease is basically non specific mixed infection as it involves many microorganisms right now the treatment part as we know that ludwig's angina is a lethal uh, disease as it causes death by suffocation so our first line treatment should be maintenance of airway maintenance of airway now intense and prolonged antibiotic therapy is uh, antibiotic therapy is required now treating the cause should be there right treating the cause so as we know that the extraction of affected tooth and surgical drainage should be done so so as to treat the ludwig's angina now the prognosis there is high mortality rate due to asphyxiation or due to choking or due to suffocation and severe sepsis so the prognosis are basically poor in ludwig's angina thank you